definitely. So um, you mentioned the X Men executioners. Um, I, I heard somewhere that well, I think I read it somewhere that you guys were actually assembled uh, to compete against Clark Kent. Yeah, and Superman. We were. That was the Which original. Is dope. Like Superman versus the X Men. Yeah. yeah. If you ever yeah. see Steve D out there, he got the Superman shirt on. Yeah. And Steve D was, of course, the inventor of. Excuse me. Anybody that was doing the beat juggle now. Yeah. You know, Steve D was doing patterns, and he's still doing them today. Like that were that caused people to start doing the funk, is what we called it. We used to battle each other, and and he organized it to battle it because at that time it was a Superman. You know, big shout to Clark, Scratch, and yeah. Richie Rich, because you know they put mad dope scratches on wax. Yeah. Richie Rich yeah, put right. that. You know. Uh, scratch, he did, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and we see each other to this day, and we're good. Um, but at that time, it was a big competition, yeah, yeah, yeah. and they know it, yeah, <laughs> yeah, they know it, they know it. And you know, Steve D put that together, so they was the Superman, we were the X Men, yeah. Like now, the names because I know you're Mr. Sinister, yeah, and now that's the play off the comic as well, right? Yeah, at the yeah. end, yeah, 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 that was the time, and then that, the X Men would just play on a comic, yeah, it, it, was, it was, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and it all fell into place. Like, do you keep up with the um, comics? I do, you do, I do, yeah. yeah what do you think about that, um, Marvel Agents of Shield? Uh, yeah, I, I like it. You like it? Yeah, it's uh, okay. I, it's all right. Uh, I don't like it. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> like I'm not going to diss it. It's okay. I, I'm going to diss it. Yeah, right. not, I, not I, I hope it gets better. Yeah, 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 yeah. I hope it gets better. Yeah, I hope if, it should get better. Stan Lee needs to do something about yeah, it. Yeah, Stan Lee needs to step yeah. in yeah. instead of the... Uh, but I think it, yeah. it's because it's a spin-off. He just doesn't... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you don't get it. Right? Yeah, he's like, shield, okay, do whatever. Yeah. We actually <laughs> had to change our name Andy because Shell. of that because Stan, yeah. Lee, wouldn't, Stan yeah. Lee wouldn't allow us to clear X-Men. X-Men, right? Yeah. He wouldn't allow us to clear it. Because you, you, you were know. known as X-Men first right. right before you went to X-Men. We had a... There was a spin-off. We normally use Executioners because we were putting together another spin-off of DJs. <clears throat> it was actually shortcut and some other people that weren't down with the ISP that we use the executioners for. So we were about to use that for the spin-off of the X-Men. Mm -hmm. That's where that originally came from. But being that Stan Lee didn't let us use the name X-Men, we was like, oh well, we that, gotta be the executioners. That's, that's crazy. So like what did you get like a letter or a phone call or something like <clears throat> well, that? Well, when we got Marvel? signed aloud, uh, yeah. Asphodel, which was our first album, which was uh, Expressions. Mm -hmm. And I know with, with a lot of yeah, Expressions. Mm -hmm. We were we had to get you know of course to the business we had to go through a lot of clearance. Yeah, this goes with the business, you know. Yeah, and they we were told by uh, not human, you know, the guy that uh, started us with the first record that he was like, well, Stan Lee won't let y'all clear the name. So we were like, all right, well, we had to change the executioners, and that's where that came about. Where we just was like, well, we're gonna use the executioners because yeah. you know people are still gonna know who we are, but we'll clear it and we'll do that because we don't want any legal problems <laughs> and yeah. that's big legal problems yeah, 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 yeah. stanley is a lot of a lot of take your money legal yeah, problems. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you know yeah we don't want it no yeah. go, ahead, go ahead no but uh so but shortly after like uh it was like what an album after that or something like that you wound up going to do your own thing, thing. Yeah. yes and and um you know a lot of people don't know it's so i'm about to get an exclusive story yeah it's exclusive both you know cuts the X the um the X Men were always tight. We were always a tight unit, and you know I want to let every artist know this out there. This is very important. So, you know whoever's listening or whoever any young DJs coming up, this is a very uh, personal touch speech for me. Like I was going through a lot of things, and actually I separated from the executions because at that time I was really going through a lot of personal stuff, man. You know I was uh, drinking heavy. You know, I got into a lot of drugs. I was doing a lot of stuff. I was doing a lot of stuff that caused the group to look at me like, um, you know, well, this guy is a risk. And it wasn't like that before. And at the time, I couldn't see it. So, you know, I was young. Um, I was I was into my own stuff. And I was like, yo, you know what? Fuck them. I, I said fuck them. But they were doing it for a good reason. And the reason yeah. was good because yeah. when time goes on, you start seeing the reason that it was yeah. a really positive thing. But I couldn't see it then. So, you know, the separation from it was then. These guys were trying to be as political about it as possible. And I was real bitter. I didn't want to talk to these dudes. But you know, at the end of the day, um, time heals all wounds and things yeah. go on. And you learn. I had to learn. I, I had to learn. I had to grow up. I had to be a man. I had to grow up and, and understand why these things were happening. Uh, God was taking things away from me because I was doing the wrong things. Right. 
right. and I didn't realize that at the time, and, and I wasn't able to come clean with it because I didn't I didn't feel good about myself, you know. Yeah. I didn't feel great. Um, people knew what was going on, but I didn't know what was going on. And it, excuse me, it took me time to realize what my uh, uh, role in it was. And when I started to heal mentally, I was able to let go of that, and I was able to heal, and I was able to see what my faults were, and when I was able to heal, other people started seeing my change, and they started to radiate back to me. So what I'm trying to say is, we ended up getting back, and it ended up being a great thing, but you know, if, if any artist out there or any person doing something, you know, always understand that your your, your business or whatever you're doing and your personal health is, is come first and foremost. You can't let anything take over what you're doing, and I did it. And it, it was years later before I could admit it and 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 admit it and, and be a real man about it. And it freed me from from my my um what was going on with me. It freed me. And I didn't realize that. I didn't I didn't realize it. And when I was able to come to grips with it and free myself and change, and the only thing that is gonna do it is change, I was able to grasp it and change and let people see that. I was the good person, but I was just affected by something, and I was able to change my situation and able to come back and be strong about it. And they seen that. So the change is is basic thing. You change yourself, the situation change around you. Yes. You know. Yes, definitely. And and being honest with it, like yeah. this is the only thing about it is being gut honest. You can't you can't lie to yourself. If you lie to yourself, you basically gonna fall, and people are gonna see it. Mm -hmm. And that's what happened with, with me. With that situation now. Um, my family situation wasn't tight. I got my family back. Yeah. Everything is good. I learned that if I want to enjoy something, it, everything is in moderation. Yes. It's not, before I was abusing, I wasn't enjoying. Right. And I didn't yeah. realize that. Yeah. And I thought it was everybody else's fault. You understand? And that was my mistake. I thought it was everybody else's fault but mine. And I was blaming. I wasn't looking at myself. And that's the trait key in um, when you're when when in, in whatever you're doing is it's easy to blame people and I didn't, I wasn't looking at myself and I had to look in the mirror and look and go this is you so whatever role you play you can't blame people for a picture you painted you have to unpaint that picture and start painting a new picture for yourself and that's the only way people are gonna look at you in a different light and when they see you in a different light and you know if anybody doesn't uh, respect that then you made amends and you gotta move on but Yo, hey, at the end of the day, I feel great. And I've done that, you know, I moved on, I survived whatever I survived, and I'm going through a new phase in my life. And God wanted me to go through this, and I just took it back. When I, when I started cleaning up, and I started cleaning my mind up, and I started going back, and I started getting the respect back, I said, you know what? I'm just gonna take it back to where, the, where I got before, where I was, and why people respect me, and they respect me because of the music, and and my skills, and and what I do, and and and, and myself as a person. So I took it back, cleaned myself up, and went back to the essence, and took it back to the beginning. Fuck the business, fuck everything. Yeah. I'm just gonna be Joey, Mr. Sinister. I'm gonna be me, and just concentrate on my music. And I went, I took it ten steps back, and just going and loving my music, and it worked out. Yeah, That's definitely, man. That's that was very deep. That's very powerful, right there. Thank it's, you. That's, big step and you know just admitting it is is very very big. hard yeah yeah <laughs> it, is. it is you know so during during that time um like you said the group uh considered you a risk like a risk in how like like showing up late for shows not yeah. performing well yeah, and things yeah. Like that. i mean i've never showed up late for shows we did so many shows but you know of course somebody with that which i couldn't understand that of course somebody that is dealing with drugs or you know, you know, not even so much to say dealing with drugs. I'm not saying it's a good thing, but if you're irresponsible with it, and they don't know what's gonna happen. Yes. Right. Okay. You know, if you're dealing with somebody with a with, with a with somebody is using drugs, or they don't know if they're gonna have a million dollar show, and, and yeah. they need everybody to be there, and one day you're gonna be like, no, I can't make it, and that's gonna fuck the deal up. That's gonna make everybody look bad. Yeah. And you lose money and everything. They, so, yeah. yeah. And not only you. Yeah. The whole, they know I mean, you don't care. Yeah. They, yeah, they're yeah, gonna yeah. lose. Yeah. And they're like, well, look, we gotta do this. We gotta look out for our best interests. Yeah. And, you know, we love you, 
and we're gonna wait for you to get back to where you're supposed to be but you know this is our job this is how we survive yeah. this is what we yeah. pay our rent with it you know god forbid you have children like yeah. you know i can't take a risk of you fucking up my children's um yeah. uh income when this yeah. is my income and which i got and mm -hmm. if you do something i then i gotta look at you and i you know so it's understood right. yeah it's understood and that's what it was it was more or less of that particular thing and, and it was understood in, in later times i had to grow and i and i understood and, and only when i got uh the help that i needed i had to figure it out yeah you yeah. know nothing wrong i'm not ashamed of it i'll yeah. tell anybody yeah. that. i yeah. go i'm in spots and i go and i see people and, and i say it you know because you know why i'm a real dude and i know that that can only be respected that you can only get respected out of that people look at you like yo this motherfucker came to a hard time but now he's good and he got through yeah, it. Yeah, definitely. You know, that's, you know, you got through it. Do, people yeah. love that shit. Yeah, exactly. They love it. You love it yourself. Yeah. But other people like, yo, you you end up being an inspiration to another yeah. motherfucker that might be going through the, the same, same problem. Yeah. And, and that's what it was. Now I'm here. I'm in the flesh. I'm good. And I'm still learning. Uh, this is yeah, a that's, journey that's for me. So, do, you know, I mean, not, not to dwell on that time. No, no, but keep going. So, still, during that time where you like doing... Uh, you know, parties where you producing at that time. Yes, I was doing all that. I was doing all that. I never music is something I always love. I was always doing. I never stopped that. I think I was most less likely going to places where I, you know I'm a networker. I'm a I'm a yeah. friendly person, which I'm always. And that's my character. Mm -hmm. That's that's what I'm gonna do all the time. Like people love. I, I go out. I, I network. But I was doing stupid shit outside. You know. I was going outside, I was pissing in clubs, I was pissing on dance floors. Wow. I was asking business people for coke. I was doing all that. Yeah. I was doing all that. Like I you know, people looking up to me, like, yo, yeah. you know, I wasn't keeping it under the wraps. Like, yeah. you know, I was going raw. Like, fuck anybody <laughs> know who the fuck I am. You know yeah, 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 yeah. You know who the fuck I am. I'm sinister. sinister yeah, right. You know, you know, sorry if I'm saying anything wrong, you know. Nah, but I was nah. like, yo. I, you know, y'all getting the raw interview. This is yeah, the yeah, rawest yeah. I ever got. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, yo, I was doing all that. Like, yo, y'all motherfucking look, man. I'm on loud, nigga. Yo, who got the fucking grams? Like, yeah. I was wrong. Yeah. Niggas is looking at me like, oh, this this yeah, he going back. This motherfucker just asked me for a gram. Like, yeah. you know, and, and even if they wasn't saying that, they was like, yo, after I do it, yeah. and they see the actions, they they might have been like, oh, all right, well, you might have. But then after, all right, if I was just chilling left, but I, yeah. no, nah, it, it, it couldn't happen like that because the addictive mind of me, it could never happen like that. Once I start sniffing, I'm like, I gotta do some other shit. I gotta yeah. go talk to a chick, yeah. somebody else, and disrespect somebody, uh. or maybe piss on their floor. And now it's like, oh, we just got this nigga a gram on top of the fact, but now he's out here disrespecting our yeah. club. Wow. So now it's like, now the spotlight is on me, like, yeah, Sinus is fucked up on Joe. Oh, he's fucked up on every... And I, I, I had to eat that. I had to take it. Yeah. Because I did it. Yeah. You know, and, and it was a minute. It was a minute before I could... I, hey, you know, you do shit, you got to relax, and you got to realize that you did. Like, you know, all right, well, now all I can do is change it. I can't call anybody up and go, yo, I'm, I did it. Yo, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. But, you know, after a while, yeah. the sorry is whatever you do yeah, don't work. work. Yeah. Because if you keep repeating the same action five, six times... times yeah. Motherfuckers is like, nigga, them sorry's don't mean shit. Yeah, yeah. You need help. Yeah. yeah. And you gotta get it. Yeah. You know, we like you, you're a good dude, we respect you, but do something to help yourself and then maybe and I and that's what I did. I had to realize that it wasn't everybody. Yeah. It wasn't everybody, it was me. When was um when was that point in time where you was like, it's me? Uh <laughs> <laughs> a lot of times. <laughs> 90, 90. No, but when you were said yeah. but when you said like I'm gonna change this. I think after the, um, maybe three years after the execution of breakup when I was doing it, I was still wilding out after that. Uh, I think my my rock bottom was when I was on the bench with my man and he looking at me like, man, you sinister, man. You out here just chilling with us. Like, you know, I'll chill with, I'm a hood nigga, I'll chill. Yeah. But he was like, nigga, look at you, man. You got, you know, you sinister and niggas just, People respecting you and you out here on the bench reducing yourself to a three dollar bottle of Georgie. Yeah. And that shit really hit me like, damn. You know, yeah, I gotta change something because I really love music and I really wanna do it. 
and I got to change something, you know, and, and I did. And I, you know, I mean, Rob, Rob drove by, you know, Rob lives in my area. Rob from Queens represent. He used to drive by the area. Rob never showed me no disrespect, but he used to drive by the area. I used to see him. And I'm like, oh, man, he's a, he'd be like, Joey, man, yo, like, you know, Rob be like, yo, Joey, come on, man. Steve, same thing. Tell me, like, yo, come on, man. You got to get yourself back on track, nigga. Like, and I, I had to do it, you know? I had to learn if I enjoy something, I got to moderate it. Yeah. And I can't let it take control. Before I was in to take control on my accent, and I finally got it. And, and, and I still get help. I, I, hey, I'm not, I still get help. I'm, yeah. I still get it. You know, people, this is what I want to tell everybody out there. Like, you see people out there, artists, Boom, we still get help, I, and I respect. I'm grateful for all the respect I get. Um, people hit me up. I'm grateful. I, I'm grateful for all things. God's giving it to me, and I'm grateful. And you know what? I will never mess that up again. And I do it for the fans. I do it because they love me, and I do it because I do it for myself. It, it gives me a sense. It helps my recovery. It helps my gratification. And I know that if everybody's happy, they're good, I'm good. And I've been good so far, and I'm just taking it right now. And if I ever think about going back to that area, I just play the tape over. I play the yeah. tape to where it got me and with the situations that happened before. And that prevents me from going back to that area because I know that that area, I already know that road. Right. That, that road is nothing. Mm -hmm. You know, I was young, I was coming up, I, I want, you know, I was on these tours, I was doing all these things, I was loving it. And I got caught, yeah. you know, but you know, it's all right, everybody gets caught. It's, it's about getting uncaught, getting unstuck. Right. Yeah. You get unstuck, you know, you, maybe you get into the glue, but it's about dis, uh, uh, disattaching yourself from that glue and then being free again. So uh, this is like, I guess like a two part question. Yeah. Uh, so Rock Raider, when you first heard he passed, uh, where were you and how did you feel about it? We saw Raider in Maryland, we went out, um, shouts to Ty. Um, Raider's daughter, Asia, just had a baby. I remember seeing Asia when she was young. She just had a baby, Jaden. Shouts to them. I, we just saw Raider. All of us went, Rob, we all went, Rob, Eclipse. We all went over and saw Raider, and we saw him the night before. The night before? Yeah, we, wow. saw, him, we saw him the day before. We, um, and we were there, and Raider asked, um, you know, he was joking with us and laughing with us. The next day, um, my man came to me and he tapped me on the shoulder and said, yo, man, uh, Raider passed away. And I, the feeling that I had was really, um, I can't explain it. It was, it was bland. It was very, very dark. Um, I didn't want to believe it. I really didn't. You know, I started crying. My man grabbed me and, um, you know, that's how I found out. It, it, it was it was very very bland for me. You know, you know. At, at the end of the day, I understood that death is a part of life, um, and we gotta accept that. It, it's very hard. We this why to this day I always do the ninja rap routine for Raider because I, I vowed that I was always gonna do something to keep him alive, and we keep him alive. It, believe me. Raider will never be dead yeah. to us. Right. He will never be. Wherever you see us, we're going to do a routine from him. Whenever you see us, the spirit is there. Whether it be me, Rob, uh, Steve, or it be Eclipse, or it be Precision, Boogie Blind, whether it be any of us, you're going to see his presence there. And we're going to, we, we refuse to let him die. How, how, how many members are there now? Oh, They're still the same members. We we don't stop. <laughs> Dude, it's still the same. Still the same. Still the same. Okay. Um, we don't stop. I, I got I got a random question right here. Yeah. What what do you feel about the uh, the little CD turntables nowadays? They're cool. They're, They're cool. cool for but mixing, but you know. I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm I a turntable. I don't, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a turntable, turn table, right? I, I, the, the needles. I see Bodega going through. <laughs> through. I know you got to get this word in. Hey, I like them. I think that they're. What, what do you prefer? Turntables. Turntables. I'm yeah. a turntable dude. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Right? All day, every day. I'm a turntable dude. I, 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 I love the feel of the turntables. I, I always will. I don't give a fuck. They come out with some shit that you can just touch and. But that's what, that's what they do have now. You press yeah. a button and I it plays the whole set for hey, you. Hey, I don't give a Hey. New D love those. I don't give a yeah. shit. You know, it's funny. It's just like how when um, 
when I get into a discussion of like when people say, yeah, I make beats, and I'm like, oh, really? What are you using? They'd say they're the, oh, my computer. And I'm like, hmm. <laughs> and they're like, what do you use? And I'm like, the NPC. And they're like, yeah, well, that, that's like, that's old. And I'm like, dude, yeah, yeah. Right. let me tell you something. <laughs> I have way more fun yeah, exactly. hitting those drum pads than you do click, right. drag, click, drag, click, drag. Exactly. Trust me. Exactly. You can make the hottest beat and I can make a subpar beat, but I had way more fun than you. You know what? Fuck you know that. what? And it, you know what? It's funny because. This you gotta respect. It's a new generation. That's yeah, all they know. Yeah. But they don't know the feel. It's like yeah, exactly. They, the feel is the feel. Like I, yo, I, I prefer an MPC sixty. I still love a twelve hundred. I don't give a shit what nobody say. The pads are right there. You can yeah. move them. You, I, I don't like. Hey, give me the best DJ on an MP3, and I, and I'll blow him on a pair of turntables like, because I can feel him. Yeah. You know, I, I can feel them. Like, yeah. I gotta feel what I do. It's like a drummer. A drummer will never be a, a drummer, gotta use sticks and a beat. A drummer can feel us better. A drummer gotta feel what he's doing. It's similar to the turntables. Right. I ran into a drummer. He's like, yo, I can feel what you're doing because you play with the feeling. The turntables is a similar feeling. Right. Yeah. The drummers play with that feeling, but a drummer will never die because it's always gonna need drummers. Yeah. And they're gonna feel. You gotta play by feeling. Yeah. The feeling is the best way to play. You let shit control what you're doing. It's kind of like you lose your feeling. But everybody I know that went to that technology always went back to the regular yeah. path right. because right. they want to feel what they're doing. Right. They can feel it. Feel, they can, yeah. The sense of it. And that's yeah, what yeah. music is: is feeling. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, my um, version. My. Uh, analogy of music is emotion transmitted in the sound. That's what it is. Yeah. People always yeah. ask me my definition yeah. of music. Yeah. And I always tell them to me it's emotion transmitted into sound. Cause yeah. whatever you do, you got different music. You got slow jams. Yeah. You got hip hop. You got hardcore. Yeah. Whatever motherfucker feeling, they gonna put it put in, in their music. Right. Yeah. Whether you be a musician or a writer or a DJ, when you feeling sad, you playing some. It's emotion yeah, transmitted yeah, exactly. sound. Yeah. So, so if you ever have like a turntable named after you, that's what it's going to be. It's going to be emotion tra transmitted into sound. sound. And that's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> So the 12, I, right, right. Yeah. You say, what you say, Bodega? 1,200. 1,200. Y'all guys are great. Yeah, man. Y'all got, got the too, great man. interview, Rick. Yeah. Yo, I want everybody to know that, yo, I, I said some real shit here. Like, that was, that's some real shit. Yeah, yeah. and, and, and you know what? I said. hope it inspires somebody in yeah. to do what it is. Do you have any, um, like, Twitter or Facebook or something where people could get in a contact? I got all that. They, they can just go to Mrs. I, I was going to say Mrs. Sinister. They, they, I don't know the yeah. Facebook type to that subscribe. But you go to M I S C A S I N I S C A. That's pretty much everything on my Facebook, Twitter. People see me on that, so they they know. So let's um, <laughs> you we, you talked about the tours and everything. You you was pissing on um, club. Yeah, floor. I gotta go to the. <laughs> yeah. well, like, they're gonna, I, they're I'm gonna wait because I gotta go to the bathroom right now. <laughs> so you gonna I'm piss on our floor? No, 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 I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> no, no, I'm joking. We'll wait, All right, we'll so we gonna get back into the music. We got DJ Mr. Sinister. Uh, after he takes a piss, we're going to <laughs> we'll come we're back, come back some more to some more shit. shit. Uh, stay tuned for this very interesting, uh, real interview going on right now. And he has a very funny uh, tour story that I'm pretty sure he'll share with us. All right. We heard it already, but you need to hear it. Stay tuned, bitches. <laughs> 